This, this is not Africa. These cheetahs have found a new home in central India's Kuno National Park. Following years of combined efforts, cheetahs were finally brought in from Namibia and South Africa. But why did the government of India think this was so important? Well, to understand it, let's go back in time. Cheetahs have always been a part of this landscape. From prehistoric rock paintings to tapestries found in Mughal courts, there is enough evidence to support this argument. In the early 1950s, it was realized that India's last remaining cheetah is now no more. And it was then that talks of reviving their numbers began. After studying various forests, Kuno was chosen as the place to establish a viable metapopulation of cheetahs, where they can roam free as top predators. And why Kuno? You see, Kuno has vast grasslands, scrubby forests and wooded savanna. Just the type of forest that cheetahs prefer. A perennial river that irrigates this fractured landscape and a combination of pipelines that indigenously fill up water holes using just gravity. This ensures plentiful water throughout the year. The idea of bringing cheetahs from Africa opened a floodgate of doubts. Some people believe the African cheetah to be genetically different from the Asian gene, but a thorough study revealed that the difference is only academic. You see, the subspecies separated about 5,000 years ago. Comparing that with a tiger and other iconic animals is practically very recent. Following rigorous research by international experts and field studies by eminent Indian scientists, groundwork began on making Kuno ready to welcome the cheetahs. An enclosed area of epic proportion was prepared, which would house them for a few weeks as they acclimatized to the new surroundings. Finally, the day came when the cheetahs were going to take their first steps on Indian land in over 70 years. The long wait for the world's fastest animal was finally over. Years of planning, research across continents and scientific efforts backed by political will, the cheetahs returned to India in its 75th year of independence. Government of India and the government of Madhya Pradesh create history of big cat translocation. In the heart of central India today, cheetahs course the plains of Kuno National Park. Globally, the wild population of the cheetahs is seeing a decline. But the cheetahs metapopulation initiative aims to fight back. Initially, eight cheetahs were brought in from Namibia, followed by a second batch of 12 from South Africa. They have surprised all the naysayers by hunting prey from day one of their release from quarantine. And Namibia Siaya even gave birth to four little fur balls, further strengthening everyone's belief in the cheetah reintroduction project. Today, Kuno is basking in the glory of the initial milestones achieved. But every day is a new challenge round-the-clock monitoring of the animals roaming freely in the wild and the warmth from local communities is ensuring they remain safe within the jungle. At the same time, under the Cheetah Action Plan, alternate sites are being prepared for the second and third home in Gandhi Sagar and Noradehi, making ground for cheetahs to reclaim their lost territory. <laughs>